when I are uh, 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 trying to balance the very unique challenges that that go along raising families as well as trying to to, to accelerate their careers. And what we're finding is probably two different ecosystems that have to co-create in, in one world for these women. And the co-creation of that is quite, quite, quite challenging though, because one needs to balance then um, the work issue, which is obviously quite challenging because you're working with a number of, of senior dominant males who, who are many times um, hold the seat at, at the boardroom table. And whilst you're trying to find yourself and really start um, really accelerating your career at that level, you're also trying to balance your family and you're trying to at least make sure that your home balance is, is, is appropriately managed. And I think that the kids in terms of having the responsibility of, 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 of juggling the number of chores you have to do at home becomes quite an issue. So it's about support mechanisms and support systems that I don't believe women have sufficiently managed in an appropriate way. Africa has a unique context and, and, and I do believe we need to consider those the context more, more prominently. And the context definitely is around how do, how do women become more confident in this male dominating world and I do believe it's about also having having gone through a number of their learnings whether it is formal learnings whether it is experiential learning and how do you apply and really take the full on life experiences and really apply it in a holistic way and I think sometimes women do not show show the vulnerability in terms of their true self as as being proud of women in in leadership positions and and I think often one then becomes um, allow the uh, you know other other dynamics to overpower you and 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 therefore you don't show your truest potential there are skills that we can still uh, refine uh, for women development definitely if you look at it from a from a strategic development point of view uh, and that's where our formal learning or our business schools become quite a useful uh, way of, of, of providing those tools and, and understanding and the best practices to really accelerate the understanding from a strategic global business uh, level. But I do believe there's, there's a, a greater insight that's also required. And when one starts to look at the holistic development of women, you need to consider the self and you need to understand, women need to start understanding and probably start, start to recognize where do they see themselves as positional leaders in terms of being figure leaders and how do they authentically lead as women in a global in the new global uh, economy